Hey guys, Aaron Baker with CBS 19 here. Happy to be on the YouTube channel. We're talking about something that's a little bit near and dear to my heart, technology, and more specifically, how to help your kids with technology. Now, you may have seen this. Kilgore Police Department posted this cell phone contract on their Facebook page yesterday, and it's really cool because it brings up every single thing a parent should take a look at before they give a cell phone, particularly a smartphone, to their children. Now, I want to go through some of these and, and walk you through a little bit of some of my thoughts and why I think some of these are really, really good. So the first one, with that in mind, well, let me back it up. First, cell phone contract. I understand that having a cell phone to use is a privilege. That's always important for kids to know, right? This cell phone can be taken away if they get grounded, if they've done something that's bad. Maybe they just need a little bit more family time. You can take that phone away. It's a privilege to them, and this, well, by signing it, ideally they would at least know that it's a privilege. So let's go through some of the checkboxes here. One, and this is an important one, I will plug my phone into the kitchen outlet by 8 p.m. every single night. Now, I guess technically you can scratch that out and put whatever time you want, 6 p.m., 7 p.m. 8 p.m. is a pretty good medium because, you know, particularly as your child gets into the teenage years, you know, 8 p.m. is a pretty nice, nice happy medium where they've got a little bit of family time but still have access to their phone until the evening. So they will not be reminded of this phone curfew. So once they sign this, technically, it's legally binding, man. You, I mean, this is they're, they're locked in. So if they don't give it up by 8 o'clock, they're in trouble. I'm just kidding. You don't have to restrict it that much, but it's good to know. I agree to purchase a durable case. This is a really good one because even if you buy a used phone for your child or you give them one of your hand-me-downs, it's still like a several hundred dollar phone. Buy a durable case, keep it from damage so you don't have to go to your wireless carrier store and spend $500, $1,000 on a new phone. The next one, I will always answer my phone when my parents call. This one, actually, you know what, I would put a big number one and star this because I think this is the most important one on the list. They can never ignore your call unless, I guess, because their phone's turned off because they're in class. In that case, that's, that's okay. But I will always answer when parents call. I will not use my phone at church during meal times while having family time. I think there should be a little line down here where you just put whatever you want to put there. So in addition to mealtimes, church, et cetera, you've got whatever you want to put there. Maybe it's being out with family at a meal or being at a special event with family, being at the movie theater, things like that. I won't use earbuds at home or when other people are around unless I've asked my parents for permission. That way you know what they're doing on their phones at all time. And I'm just rolling through some of these. I will give my parents passwords to all my accounts. Very important and always be sure to take a look at what apps your kids have on their phones. There are apps out there that Things like WhatsApp, Kick, for example, several social media apps that, hey, you know, they may do one thing, but your kids may use them for something else. So just always have an open conversation with your kids about how they're using their apps and make sure you always have their passwords. I will never use my phone to share, this is a really good one, mean, hateful, or inappropriate communication in any form or fashion. Very important there, particularly going through school as you go through those teenage years. It's, it's easy in a lot of cases to to talk bad about somebody or to insult somebody, make sure they know that. I will never share photos of anyone else without asking their permission first. A very good one there. Never use my phone to take pictures or video of nudity, violence, or other unlawful activity. That's an important one too. I like this all caps here. I understand there are no warnings. So like I said, I mean, you know, I guess they're not 18, so technically it can't be like a legally, legally binding agreement, but it's legal to you when you, they understand there are no warnings. Once they sign this, you got their signature and you can take their phone away. It's a, it's a really cool app, a really cool rather piece of paper here. This is a good one. I will only use Wi-Fi and keep my data switch turned off. Hey, you know what? If you have a data plan that's tiered with your wireless carrier, let's say you have three gigabytes or maybe your family shares 10 gigabytes, for example, this tells them that they can't use all your data, which is really important. I hear stories all the time of you know, the kids using 20 gigabytes of data and they roll over their monthly data allotment and then the parents get nothing and it either gets shut off or throttled down to a really slow speed. So it's always really important to make sure they know that. Even if they have unlimited, I would still have them sign that just between you and me. It's kind of good to have and that they always need to be using Wi-Fi. I will do any chores asked of me. This is a really good one, too. In exchange for my parents paying my cell phone bill. So think about it. You know, you're paying anywhere from, let's say, $10 to $50, $60, sometimes more, depending on how your wireless carrier breaks down your individual plan and your individual lines. They got to do chores in the house, and they got to do things around the house in order to have the privilege of using a cell phone. And then... One of my favorites, last but not least, my parents have the right to add to this contract at any time. So where these signature lines are, you could just add additional lines and just say, hey, here's another rule, here's another rule, here's another rule. But I love this contract because it's really important to set those conversations and have those conversations with your child ahead of time as opposed to just giving them the phone and then retroactively having these conversations. And Kilgore PD, they're really onto something here with this contract. It gives you the ability to set the ground rules ahead of time and give a piece of paper contract, if you will, to the entire process. Be sure to keep it locked on our Facebook page, facebook.com as well. We're there. We're on Twitter. And then, of course, we're online at cbs19.tv. 
Let me know if you'd like to see any tech stories covered either on our YouTube channel or in general in one of our newscasts. My email is abaker at cbs19.tv. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.